What's up YouTube, it's your girl Brittany and I am back for another video. I am back at home, y'all. Ever since I've been back at home, I've been working out and trying to eat like more healthy because when I was on vacation, y'all, I was eating so unhealthy. And when I came back home and weighed myself, I gained like four pounds. So we're trying to get these four pounds off. But I'm eating like a little cracker cheese and pepperoni a little snack thing until i figure out what i want to eat for dinner but a lot of y'all have been liking the girl talk videos so this is going to be a girl talk video i went on instagram and i asked people to give me some topics to talk about and y'all gave me some um pretty good topics so the first topic oh y'all i bought me a new apple watch so i could keep track of everything but it ain't even tracking my stuff right because it said I only worked out for 17 minutes and I worked out for 40 minutes, but whatever. But the first topic I'm going to talk about is losing your virginity. So, ladies, fellas, anybody, when it comes to losing your virginity, make sure that is something that you want to do. Like, don't let nobody pressure you into doing it. Don't do it because it's what your friend's doing. Don't do it because people feel like that's what's um, supposed to be happening at a certain age. I know people who didn't lose their virginity until they were like 18, 19, 20. Or you can even wait till marriage. Like, do what you want to do. Don't let anybody peer pressure you into doing something that you don't want to do. Because then, if somebody peer pressure you into doing something you don't want to do, you might start regretting it. You might start, you know put putting more on yourself than what you should start feeling like oh i wish i never did that because once it's done it's done you can't take it back so when it comes to your virginity make sure that is something you want to do not something someone else wants you to do <sighs> somebody said why does girl code need to be solid and hygiene. Oh, why does girl code need to be solid? And why is hygiene important? It put a JS. Me with girl code, I just feel like I don't even call it girl code. I more so just call it like loyalty or whatever. But like if my friend tell me something, I'm not telling nobody else. If um my friend and her boyfriend is going through something or whatever. I'm be on her side. Fuck him. And then as soon as y'all get back cool, we back cool with him. But as far as girl code go, it's basically just like a loyalty thing. Like just be as loyal to your friend as your friend is loyal to you. And even if you have a friend that you're loyal to and they're not loyal to you, still be your same person. Like don't let someone... um you know, change the way you are because of a certain way that they are. And hygiene. Hygiene is like 100% important. Like, you do not want to be around somebody like, oh, they stink. Or they're musty. Or I can smell them so I know they can smell themselves. So, when it comes to hygiene, I would just say, make sure you're up on, you know, Keeping up with your showers, baths, making sure you wash right. Because you can take a shower or a bath and don't wash up and still, you know, make sure you keep up on your doctor's appointments. Doctor's appointments for sure because if there's something going on down there and you don't know what's going on, you can have an infection, an STD, anything. So... Make sure y'all keep up on them things. For sure. And if you're right up raising, if you're raising a little girl, make sure you let her know um, about that. So I have two of the same questions. It's basically about how to get over your ex. This girl said, girl, how to move on. I left a two-year relationship and it's the right decision, but I'm hurting. I've got my parents and my friends supporting me, reminding me why I did this, but damn. And another one says, getting over your ex. So, 
But as far as like getting over your ex, I can tell y'all from my past experience because me and Deja have had an on and on again, off again relationship. And we were together from 2009 until 2014. And then from like 2015 to like 2018, we was like messing around, but we wasn't like really claiming each other as being in like a relationship, and, you know, stuff like that. So what I did to get over him in 2014, I just like, at first I was sad about it. And I kept like being childish, pulling up on him, this and then the third. But then after a while, I just was like, uh, but after a while, I just was like, you know, like I'm young. I'm not finna keep stressing over this boy that um don't want nothing to do with me. So I started talking to other people, going out on dates, you know, doing what you should do as a teenager. So, um, like. I just did what I could do to like not think about him. Like, even though we were still right each other, still messing around, this and third, it wasn't like I wasn't like head over heels for him at that point. So it just was like I just looked at him as like another person that I was like just talking to or whatever. So that's how I got over it. I just said fuck it. Like I just had to remind myself who I was. Like you better than this. Like don't let nobody treat you like you crazy don't let nobody um feel like they can talk to you and talk to somebody else and you just gonna sit there and take it so that's how i got over it and then we slipped up one night messed around and had a baby so all i can say is do what you feel is best like some people it's hard for them to get over relationships because they be dealing in their feelings and stuff but i'm dealing my feelings with nobody like, if we get into it right now, I can just kill you off in my head and not talk to you no more for a long time. Like, you could be sitting right next to me and I still won't say nothing to you. It'll just be like, whatever. I just don't let, I don't let people have a super big impact on my life to where I feel like if they leave, I'm be going crazy, crying, looking dumb and stuff like that. So, if that's you, I'm sorry, but. What they say? Stand up. Somebody asked me about how do I feel about um here it go right here. How do I feel about the bisexual and transgender world? To me, I just feel like do whatever makes you happy. I don't care if you're bisexual, transgender. Um, whatever you is, I don't care. Like, as long as you a cool person, I still hang around you. I don't care about your sexuality. Your sexuality has nothing to do with me. As long as you're doing what you need to do to make yourself happy and you're happy in life, who cares about what you want to do, what you want to be, if you want to be gay, straight, both, who cares? As long as you and your partners know what's going on and y'all are okay with it don't worry about what no family members think don't worry about what no friends think don't worry about what none of the outsiders think be true to yourself and make sure you're happy you only get one life so why live it miserably What is the real society coming to? Is it better or is it worse? Me, I really can't too much speak on society. But what I can say is like, I really can't say if things are worse or if they're better. Because I feel like everything that's going on today happened back in the day. But we just didn't know because we were younger. So we didn't like, we wasn't like able to comprehend the things that was going on back in the day. So I feel like like from past experience of what I have heard, I heard like society is like more so still the same. But the only thing that seems to be getting worse to me that I've heard from like older people is like the social media era where everybody feel like you have to look like the people on social media 
but like as far as like killings and stuff like that they said stuff like that been going on so like that's nothing new but they said this social media era where everybody feel like once you have a baby you got to snap back or i got to look like this or i got to make this much money at the age of 25 or this 25 year old is a millionaire but i'm sitting here counting pennies so i need to switch my life around like they said that stuff the internet is horrible like back then when they didn't have the internet it just was like go with the flow type of stuff like they didn't care about like phones they didn't have to have a phone in their hand 24 7 and stuff like that like we have to my last question that i am going to answer is your opinion on weddings i say this all the time in all my girl talk videos because y'all always bring it up but me honestly like i used to care about like marriage when i was like younger like younger younger but like as the years go by and i get older and wiser and i like learn more and more about stuff like that i don't care about getting married like i don't care to commit my life my life to somebody for the rest of my life like i just feel like if i'm in a relationship with somebody and i want to end things i don't want to have to go to no judge no courts no nothing like i want to just be able to get up and leave i don't want to I don't want nobody to love me to death basically like i be talking to like a lot of older people and like yeah everybody every other older person's story is different but i don't want to um how can i explain this without y'all feel like i'm like saying it the wrong way or like saying it in like a dumb way so basically like this I don't want to, I don't, I, I really don't know how to say it without making it seem like you're dumb. Whatever. But I don't want to, I don't want nobody to feel like, y'all yeah, I really don't know how to explain it, but I don't, I don't care about marriage. Just know that. I don't, I don't care. Like it's not nothing that's important to me. Like, even if I was to leave this relationship with Dejan again to another relationship, even if the dude loved the ground that I walked on, I still wouldn't get married. I just, I'm just the type of person, like, I don't, I really don't even like people for real. So, if I like you and I get around you, cool. But I feel like if me and Dejan was to get married today, we probably would be divorced by Christmas time. That's just how bad my attitude is, like. As soon as somebody irritate me, it's just like, get away from me. Like, don't talk to me. Don't say nothing to me. And I won't say nothing to you. Like, I can get into an argument with Dejan today. And if we didn't live together, I probably could, like, go months, probably even years without talking to him. And he wouldn't, like, phase me or nothing. Like, because my son has his own phone. So, if he want to talk to him, he can't. Like, it's been times where I get mad in the house and just walk past him in the house. I won't wash his clothes, walk, clean the dish after him. None of that. I just have a horrible attitude and it's just, it ain't fit for a marriage because I've been to divorce you in 2.5 seconds. It's bad. But that is the end of this video. I just wanted to catch up on a girl talk video because I haven't did one in a long time. And I know that y'all like girl talk videos. And if y'all have any questions that y'all want to ask me, that y'all want me to answer in another girl talk video, just write me on Instagram. Or y'all can comment on the video below. And I will answer y'all questions. Like I like doing girl. Like sit down girl talk videos. Because it's just like. I feel like it's. Getting us. Growing us closer to each other. And helping us like. Know more about each other. Like cause y'all always wonder like. Who is Brittany like. Yeah we watch her YouTube. But we don't really know her. But y'all. I am like. The nicest person ever. Until you piss me off. Honestly like seriously like once you piss me off look i'm i'm gonna show y'all because i'm finna call my mama and then because some people be thinking i be playing but i literally been like this my whole life like if somebody pissed me off i just want to talk to them and it's i know that's bad but hello what you doing So I gotta ask you this question for the video because a lot of people don't like me trying to figure out like who I am. But if, say for instance, if somebody make me real, real mad, what type of person am I?
<laughs> you really want me to answer that? Like, like, how do I act? Cause like, I just, I told them like, I don't talk to people. Like, if somebody irritate me, I could just like not talk to them for the rest of my life. You, def you definitely shut them down. See y'all. I told y'all. You shut them down. You shut down. You just don't talk. Yes, I was telling. And if they keep, and if they keep picking with you, you go, you bringing our receipts. <laughs> yes, see, I told y'all. But that's all I was calling you for. Just call me when you don't show homework. Okay. All right. But y'all, like, I've been like this since I was younger. And I really think, like, my mom is who to blame because she never, like, whooped me for it. But when I was younger, my mama told me, like, I started at the age of two. Like, if I didn't get my way, I would literally shut down, not talk to nobody, and just sit there with a pout on my face. My mama never did nothing about it. So it's just like, if. As a two-year-old, if you let somebody get away with something like that, they make it feel like, oh, this is okay. So, i literally been like this my whole life. Like, if you irritate me and I feel like I don't want to talk to you, I'm not going to talk to you. And it's nothing you could say or do to make me speak to you again. So, that's the little bit that y'all would know about me. But the more that I do my YouTube channel, y'all is going to know the real me. And y'all would know, like, I'm not just this irritated person or this mean person that don't want to be bothered with people i really don't want to be bothered with people though but i will be bothered with people to a certain extent i'm just like that's the difference between me and dejan like he's like he has to be around people he likes being around people and that's what makes him happy but me i could be in my room watching tv chilling not being bothered by nobody and i'm i'm okay with that I am a hundred percent okay with that. But that is the end of this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.